God. What's going down? Thor Basement Boy Banner, Brian Basement Boy Banner, we are the Basement Boys. Uh, we're doing another d- 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 Does It Hold Up? Um, we don't really have a specific Does It Hold Up, though. Sort of. Okay, so Brian texted me like two weeks ago, and he was like, we should do a Does It Hold Up on Gundam. The original Gundam. And I was like, yeah, I, totally. I've been watching that on Hulu. I've and- been watching that on Hulu. I'm on like episode 44 or whatever, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I knew... So twofold reasons why I knew what was about to happen. Number one, he told me there were 46 episodes or something. And 50, 49. And the show, the original Gundam isn't that long. So I was like, hmm, I think I know what's about to happen. But this will make the episode better if this turns out the way I think it is. It did. I had to Google, where do you start with freaking Gundam? So this actually goes back Gundam. to like a two or three week ago conversation mm-hmm. we had about Gundam. Yes. We actually ended up watching... Um, Iron-Blooded Orphan. Iron-Blooded Orphan, right. And because we were talking about like where to start with Gundam mm-hmm. and like how deep Gundam goes. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the the pantheon that is the Gundam series. And so you Googled it and you were like, where and do I've you start? And I've discovered where to start. And I mobile suit Gundam from like 1979, no 1980. Just mobile suit, suit Gundam. Gundam. If your main character, his name needs to be Amaro, if that helps. Because if you start and you're like, this isn't the main guy. If his name's Hero, you're wrong. And I knew he was going to make this mistake. I knew he was starting with So he with comes Wayne. over today and then we, I'm like, oh, I'll pull it up real quick. Maybe we'll watch an episode or two. Have you finished it? And he's like, no, I haven't finished it, but I'm close to the end. Maybe we're at the same spot. So I pulled it up. I put, type in Mobile Suit Gundam mm-hmm. into the Hulu search. And it pops up and it says Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Wait. from 1995. Right. So that's the series I had started with Levi, started with my son. We had watched a few episodes, then he had lost interest. I put it on mostly as like background noise when I was doing stuff or napping. And I was on episode 44, but remembered almost nothing of the series. I also knew he, because I couldn't find Mobile Suit Gundam a lot. The, the dubbed. original. I couldn't find it dubbed, only subtitle. subtitle. Only and I was like, there's subtitle. no way he's watching it. We all know I don't watch subtitles. subtitles. I was if, like, you've no ever, way. if you've ever watched any video where we discuss anime in any kind of So I knew, but but I purposefully wasn't going to correct him or because I knew this would be more interesting. So how do cuz I have experience with Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam, right, the original. Mobile Fighter G Gundam, which is somewhere it's a little after Wing if I remember right, is but Hero it's in like in a, it? it's it's his own little universe, so it's different. Oh. So we'll touch on that when we get there. And then yeah. Iron Blooded Orphan, and Which then you that came out post. I came out post nineteen ninety nine, so technically we don't do a does it hold up on things that come out after right. that. But the point is, is like so we're not technically doing a does it hold up on Mobile Suit Gundam, or we're not doing a does it hold up on Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, and we're not doing a like full on history of Mobile Suit Gundam. Right. We're just kind of talking about Mobile Suit Gundam. And how these, I guess, compare and contrast a little bit. Gundam Wing, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, and Gundam, or Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphan? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, if you're following me still. And we actually just watched one episode of, and this is what I mean when I say, like, he there's told so me, many. We need to watch one, you need to watch one episode of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing to refresh you of, like, the series and what you've watched. And I was like... You know what's funny? I was like, sure, let's do it, but I knew it wouldn't work because I knew how little of the series actually like physically watched. Watching watch. one or two episodes, and this, we, we this watched was like when I was into Toonami so hard, it wasn't even funny. When this showed, yeah. I remember a lot of it, not like big story parts, but I remember seeing a ton of parts. I remember characters, their names. Like I'm like, oh my God. It's like, <laughs> there are things that are kind of central to every Gundam iteration, right? So you have usually your protagonist who is like a orphan child or a de- like this is like where a- this is where the first one is actually quite different. Okay. Both Hustle. of his parents are alive. Okay. He is not an orphan. Okay. He has way more personality. Than okay. either of the main Gundam people in Wing in, or in Iron Butter. You know how they're kind of okay, yeah. just like blank? Like, uh, they're we'll just like win. cardboard cutouts. He has so much character, it hurts. He, there's so much to him as far as like, he's scared. 
This is like the first, he's like entering war and he's like 16 or something and not ready for it. One of like the, within the first five episodes, he kills someone in a Gundam. While he's in a Gundam, he kills another Gundam, right? Mm. Fine. Then he is shooting at people who aren't in Gundams and he can't do it. He's like too scared and like misses because he's having like, he can't handle like actually killing a person because mm. it's different destroying a robot with the, the dude eight, in it. This is the 80s mobile suit Gundam yeah. you're talking about. Because I've never seen it. There's a point where he like, sees a guy in one of those Gundams that he has killed and, like, actually sees the person. And it's, like, like he can't do it. There's a point where he, like, leaves. He's, like, I can't do it. I can't keep fighting in the Gundam. I can't keep killing people. Yeah. Like, he's having, like, PTSD. He's, like, he's like I'll only get in that suit if you can promise me I'll be able to sleep at night. Like, he's, like, it's, like, super crazy into this 16-year-old kid fighting in a war and he can't handle it. It's... Super interesting. Is the first one about like Mars and Earth? Um, kind of. So it's about. That's the other thing that a lot of Gundams have in common is there's a crap ton of political. So Earth is stories like interwoven in these like main like in these battles. Yeah. Mostly it's dialogue and political stuff with battles interwoven in yes. that. Realistically, yes. the, it's not built around the battles. It's built around the politics and it's built around all the other stuff and the emotions right. and, you know, these people's motives and or lack thereof in right. cases or power. I mean, hungry. it's like a very war anime. I mean, if you take out the fact that it's giant robots and whatever, it's yeah. it's totally it's politics. It's war. It's I guess why it's had the sus- sustainability that it's had. I yeah. mean, there's been countless iterations and we've been floating around the idea of doing a history of Gundam. Not only colonic, like like uh, colonically, but like also like colonically. So yeah, I don't think you know what that word means. Canon, like part of canon. Canonically? No, I didn't say canonically. 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 You yeah. didn't say it the first time. You yeah, said colonically. No, 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 no. <laughs> I I did not. I said canonically. You heard me. Anyway, irregardless. It's just regardless, by the way. Irregardless. That's the improper use. Uh, irregardless, we've been talking about doing a history of Gundam video where not only will we lay out the, like, canon history. Right. The main... But we'd also lay out, like, the like the viewing history. Right. Right? And Because they don't always come out in the same order that they, like, fall in. So if you have interest in a video of that nature, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know that that is something you would like to see. Or if you have zero interest, then let us know that too, because maybe we won't do it. Because I'm going to make Brian do all the legwork for it. So honestly, I'm neither here nor there on it. Um, But but the original Mobile Suit Gundam, or sometimes referred to as, I think, Mobile Suit Gundam 0089 or whatever year it came out is what people will refer to it as sometimes, but that's not how you find it. Anyway. Well, there is a Mobile Suit Gundam 008 on Hulu. Really? Maybe yeah. that's it. Let's We'll check afterwards. But anyway, it's technically only Mobile Suit Gundam. Highly, highly recommend. Super good. Rewatching Wing with you? Watching Owie. half an episode of... And maybe the it's second half I'm of like, one episode and the first half of another Maybe it's because we're like at the very end of it, you know what mm. I mean? Or Which wherever it should it is. be good if it's at the end. But like, I'm like, dude, these characters are like, ouch, like boring and like, I, I don't know what's going on. I didn't much care for Iron Blooded Orphan. Me neither. I'm not much caring for Wing, which is why I still haven't finished it. And I was it. like, dude, why do everybody like Gundam? I don't understand. It's because the original it. Gundam is stupid good. It's I, better than I, all I of these other understand. ones I have watched. I want to watch other iterations. I'm maybe, telling you, start with that one and tell me you don't like it. You know it. I'm not going to start with that one because if it's there's, right no, up your dub, alley too. If there's no dub version, no, that's true. then it's not happening. But it's like, it's 80s. Like the anime is very 80s animation. I love it. It's like 80s. everything. I know. It's, but, mm, you would love it. Mm, just everything about it is like Screams Thor Borger. If it wasn't know? subtitled, Zimmer Borger. Sorry, Thor Zimmer Borger. So it's like, uh, no, see, it doesn't include the Zimmer because it's not it's not dubbed yet. It's just it's subtitled. Just, that, just so subtitled. it doesn't quite have it's, the Zimmer. It doesn't have the hyphen like, yet. I don't like, uh, I, I can't do subtitled. I know. If I don't we like could, it. I'll just, I'll just read it out loud to you while we'll watch it together. That would and I'll be just read way it out loud worse. For you. you doing the voices. Uh, yeah, that'd be way worse. It's so good, dude. Mobile Suit Gundam has its redeeming qualities. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, excuse me, because this is where we got this whole yeah. kerfuffle to begin with. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing 
has its redeeming qualities. Its the, animation the, the is animation on point. Animation is really good. The, mm-hmm. the actual battles themselves have been have been excellent. It's mm-hmm. a lot of times it's then it will be a build to a battle, a battle, and then build to a battle, battle. Right. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how I'd say most of the forty. What, what was it, 45, episode 45 we were on just now? And it was like prelude to the final battle so or whatever. So it seems real edgy. I think anyone who likes like their their anime with like, it, you know, wearing a trans coat and fedora, you like pure edgelord, they would enjoy it. If you like your anime like that, because, I mean, it's a style. I guarantee there's people who are like into this type yeah. of anime. You would enjoy it because it's yeah. like everybody talks like a pure edge lord. It's crazy. So I yeah, think plus, uh, with all the political stuff and right. I mean, there's a lot of like if you want to do deep dive, if you want something to deep dive into and have to remember like lots of names and places and who White Fang is and who Epilogue is or whatever his name was and like Gundam Zero and Wedge the and, ori- the originals. J- uh, Probably just as bad because I there's a lot of names there's a lot of Zabdis and the Zions and, and this the, isn't the, this isn't you know this isn't like Game of Thrones level names where you maybe have a dozen to remember. See, I think if you, I mean, maybe one Gundam, yes, but when we start, because my that's what my I'm goal saying. That's is what to, I'm saying. To, to to traverse past Gundam. That, that's and what move I'm on. saying. That's what I'm saying. In the pantheon of Gundam series, the name, the amount of names, the amount of t- like time. Well, I periods, think even just like the main canon probably history, has so much. It's, oh, it's ridiculous! <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, and I've t- I've watched like this much of this much Gundam. You probably watched like maybe a slight bit more, but like not much. Well, and that's the thing is, I have experience now with four different Gundams. Honestly, the first one being the best. Wings, not terrible. If you want like a, what do you what do you call that? Where I every like episode's deep, like a, a deeper, villain of the week. That one is Mobile Fighter G. Yeah, it feels very villain of the week. Okay. It, it's not nearly as edge lord or politicky as that was. So if you like the battles, honestly, I bet you'd like Iron, Mobile Fighter Iron G. Iron Blooded Orphan could get better from where we started. It's hard when your main character is. The worst, it's like boring, like nothing, like no interest in seeing him. They have develop. very little personality from the from from the two Gund- Gundams I've watched mm-hmm. any amount of. The main characters have like no right. personality. Like they're like they're reluctant heroes, but they're reluctant heroes not in the like like no, I don't want to be a hero. It, not like Amaro, where they're he's like, like I don't want to do aloof. it. Aloof. Yeah. Like to almost to an annoying point where it's right. like I don't even care. Like yeah. they're so cool. They're like uh like, right. like the hero and they're dude. naturally just the best Gundam fighter on the planet. Like the hero dude in the in the wing, right? Like mm-hmm. he's not the leader in he's trying to make that blonde haired kid the leader. Right. He's just trying to be like the the maverick right. lone wolf, you know. That's why he goes to right. fight like obsidian or whatever his name is. I'm just throwing words out there now. Um, I cannot remember the name of the, the purple Gundam that he right. fights, but that was a cool fight when those two broke off and Gundam right. zero was fighting. This is why I think you'd Gundam, like, and then the, the rest of his Gundam team was fighting the Gundam dolls. That was like some good stuff. That's why I think you'd like mobile fighter G mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's basically your classic anime plot. Uh, it's a different timeline, basically, and instead of the wars, they do a tournament and they use Earth as the battleground. And they every nation sends a Gundam to go fight on Earth against each That's other. That's funny. And That's... then the winner gets to be like the main. Imagine them being like we have the House of Representatives. The leader of the house is whoever's Gundam wins after however that makes many years. Sense. That makes and it's sense. way more like your classic anime where like the main Japanese Gundam guy, he's like freaking. Like says his moves or whatever. It's like shining Gundam, shining finger, and then he pokes people. <laughs> it's good, but it's you more it. more villain of the week type. Like it's almost it's like a, a tournament, um, you know, like Big O. Remember well, Big O, where they had like a different bad right. guy almost every but, week. It but felt more, like. more like. More again, it's a tournament, so yeah. it's like it's it's more in that style, if you know what I mean. Where it's not like these guys are hurting the town. It's right. I show up and I'm like, 
you have to accept my Gundam battle, otherwise it's not so it's legitimate. Like, like the tournaments from like the first Dragon Ball, like Dragon Kinda, Ball tournaments. Yeah. Like you're not allowed to destroy the other person's cockpit. Yeah, that yeah, cheats. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have to. Yeah, you yeah, only yeah. can defeat them. You can't kill them. Yeah, disable the Gundam. You right. can't like. And destroy then they, obviously the there's shenanigans and whatever. But Ew, at the end of the, at the end of the day, the the it, it's just a tournament. You know what I mean? A Gundam tournament, and it's about Gundams fighting, not politics necessarily. Well, Later, well, obviously, well, yeah, we get more in there. Out. God, I want to say about the same time because I remember seeing it on Toonami also. I, I could look. So like late gonna... 90s? Yeah. It's, Maybe. it's I think it's probably after Gundam Wing if I had to guess. So you would say Mobile Suit Gundam, the original. Is like if you want Gundam. Is like, like what way... everybody likes about Gundam. But see, I would isn't say Gundam so. Wing the one that most people like revere as like probably the OG? If I have to, if I, if I had to guess, yes. Again, I haven't quite gone into the full sp- history of Gundam yet, get but I'm sure, but the problem is, is I think You're going to have to start a who, spreadsheet. Anyone who thinks Gundam Wing is the best, I feel like just hasn't, is either too nostalgic for it or just hasn't really dug into... Well, when, but if you're saying regular gu- Gundam was better, the nostalgia would be higher for that because it's older. So nostalgia wouldn't lead into... Right, but I've well, never seen... I'm not nostalgic yeah, 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 for yeah, either, yeah, right? Yeah, I guess. Right, right, right. I get what you're saying. You can't be nostalgic for something you haven't seen, I, I guess is my point, ultimately. Yeah, that's true. So that's I feel true. like most people probably haven't seen it. Whereas Wing was like the first one to really, I think... It was on Toonami. It was kind of like most people's probably first experience with Gundam, I would argue. That was like the same time as they were doing Dragon Ball Z right. and stuff like that. I think it's people's mm. first experience with those. So it's hard for them to That's a longer associate. series, right? I mean, 40, how it's many Gundam, a couple. How many Gundams are there in the first one? So technically, the good guys only have three Gundams they use. The Gundam, a gun tank which is like a half Gundam, half tank, and then some other weird Gundam that's like basically where, garbage. Where in Wing they have five, right? right. And they're all or like six. these super epic crazy Gundams, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. In the original, the one Gundam doesn't have like the wings. It's like super basic. It's I like, a guy, That's what basically. I like about Gundam Wing is like the red Gundam who like shoots missiles out of like his shoulders, his hands, his legs. And that's where, that's where. Like, and I think that's, yeah, I mean, that's like, like I said, the where Gundam that Wing mobile, having redeeming qualities right. is like that leads, that's part of those redeeming qualities. And that's where that mobile, that other one I was talking about, it does the same sort of thing. Each Gundam has like a special power and weird, like yeah. how do you defeat this guy? He right. ha- He shoots little laser gun rose What's that one things. called? Mobile Fighter G Gundam. All of the Gundam titles in it, just in themselves are hard to cipher through because you're like, they're all basically some variation of mobile suit fighter Gundam wing f- flyer. Like they have random letters. There's like a mobile suit Z, you know, like they're mm. just all sorts of, it's like, it's hard to even tell what you're looking at, let alone find the one you want to watch. <laughs> or where to start, right? Which is the hardest part there. But I would highly recommend watching Starting the with classic Mobile Suit Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. It's good. And if you don't want to do that, then just go with go with one of the many Gundams on. And that's the um, nice thing with Wing. It's kind of its own thing. You don't really need to go through the whole catalog. And it's on I Hulu. Think. It's on, you know, it's on Hulu. So if you need a Gundam that fix. That one, Iron-Blooded Orphans on Hulu. A 008 one. There is another Origin, I think was another one. Origin is, from my understanding, supposed to be before what I'm watching. But they made it, like, way later. Right. It's like a prequel. That's what we're talking about, whereas, like, you have, like, the regular order. Right. Like, in you have the release order. And then, then you the have watch like order. The watch order. Then you have, like, the canon order. Mm-hmm. And, like, okay, this took place at this year, which was prior, you know. And when so, do we separate into things that aren't canon and it well, just and gets you, wild. you have to leave off the one thing you were telling me about the people playing with toys yes part. that one I that one you can't include gun that. gunpla battlers no no you can't <laughs> literally we're talking animated series with at least one season which most of them are just one season right i mean they just do like one they're like one I'll, I'll dig into it and we'll, almost, we'll see what it looks like it's gonna be every pretty season wild. will be a almost every season is a one-off though i mean to a certain extent, I'm sure, but at the same time, if they're all it's crazy canon, it, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? No, there's a like hundred years in between each one. But I, I don't think that that's where I look. I don't Gundam, think there. I don't think there is a hundred years between each one. There is between like 
wing in Iron Blooded Orphan. Right, but that's my thing is I think the main canon of Gundam. That's where I will go over. And a lot it, really. of it has to do with like space fleet versus Earth fleet versus Mars people. Well, so that's what's different with the different original. It's technically not space versus Earth. It's two separate space colonies that are basically fighting, and they each own like half the Earth. Right. And like one's trying to fight for independence from the rest of the colonies or whatever. And one. But they're evil, I guess. Duh. Clearly. <laughs> See, that's where I get confused in, like, Wing, because you have, like, uh, what was it, Gloria and her brother, White Fang, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have the Gundam fighters, or the, mm-hmm. yeah, the Gundam pilots, who are, like, their own thing. Right. And then you have the Earth Force, who's led by that one dude who wears the, sh- right. the cape thingy. And has like the soldiers, and that's kind it's of what's co- a, a little confusing with the it's very regular convoluted. mobile suit. It's the main Gundam guy. They basically are non-military people who hijacked a ship because their colony was under attack, and they the military was secretly building that Gundam on their colony, and so they took it over to get out so they could live. Uh, and the military is like, uh, yeah, you you that's like treason, dude. And so they're like, well, and so like they stole like, military tech. Yeah, they're gonna be mad. But about do you know that. what their punishment is? Death. No, they said you either have to keep doing, you have to keep fighting the war, and basically we've we've you're a part of the military now, or you joined up, you go to jail or die or whatever because right. it's treason. So you, you either joined, have to be a part up. of the military or that's an aggressive. We can't way. Let that's you an go. aggressive way to join the military. Yes, it is. That's a very aggressive way to join the military. So it's it's one of those things where I'm not all the way done. I'm up to big Zam for anyone who knows what's going on with that. Uh, How many episodes are in the original Gundam? Uh, I, from what I saw, there was forty something, and then I think there's two movies. Oh yeah, Gundam movies. That's a whole nother. Right. That's a whole nother realm. And they follow you. You know, they're part of the canon to a certain extent. I'm Unlike sure. Dragon Ball movies, where it's like there's right. like the movie canon and then the right. series canon. Gundam just doesn't. Well, I don't know yet. Care. That's where this video explaining it will probably shed some light. <laughs> the history. The, the history, history video. History Ooh, of Gundam. Boy. That's it. Hey, this is going to be. You it's going to be a big this, one. I do, wanted this I do. undertaking. So partly because I want to watch Gundam. <laughs> Man, you got a lucky wife. <clears throat> Although I could do like a history of, uh, oof, I could do a history of lots of different things. We, so, would you recommend Wing? Mm, if you're into that sort of anime, yeah. But generally speaking, like if you like a slower paced, story driven, politically driven, boring, and. <laughs> um, not boring, but if you like a slower pa- if you like a slower paced anime, where you have to remember lots of things, and you know you are looking for something to fill your brain with, sure, go <laughs> ahead and watch it. If you're looking for something to throw on and enjoy and not have to think too much about and just watch, mm-hmm. probably watch something different. You know? Yeah, I hear you. Watch Mobile Fighter G Gundam. <laughs> or like My Hero Academia or Dragon Ball or Yu Yu Hakusho. Well, some people want to get into Gundam. Or Cowboy some people Bebop need their freaking or... giant robot fix. Okay, watch Hikai J. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. Hikai J is amazing. That's a great anime. Great anime. Yeah, that's a great anime. It's a little past the uh, Does It Hold Up genre yeah. of Time Window. I think it came out just post 2000. Just post. Uh, it's right down there. The whole series. It's really good. It's really good. It's where it's right when they started blending anime and uh, computer graphics, mm, but mm-hmm. they did it in a really awesome way. Like before, all like the where it still felt like an animated show, and it didn't feel like a computer yeah. generated. If you've ever show. watched like the new Berserk, it's exactly what you're talking about. Where it's like just rough. it's too much. It's, it's y- too much. Yucky. Like, like Voltron borderlines the new Voltron for Netflix borderline on that for me a couple yeah. times because it like and now there's there's was still more of an animated style but I'm trying to think of what show that I just hate that style um I can't, I can't think if of If I showed there, you there the new some. Berserk you'd probably be there like yeah that's it. Yeah, there's, it's rough. But no if I, if I was like if you're into like X have you ever seen the anime X? I don't think so. Okay. That I, so, that's like a slower paced I'm, st- I'm getting into my animes. 
Escaflone would be another one. I thought I knew anime. That's about giant robots. I met you, and then I very quickly realized, like, whoa, dude, <laughs> there's like, a lot more out there. If you want giant robots fighting, there's better. Not better. There's there's. You better watch it, dude. Why You're about to it? get killed. Like, I bet there's some serious Gundam no, people who are know, about no, to be no, mad no. at you. But for- here's the thing I'm thinking about in my head is almost every giant robot anime I can think of is a slower pace, like a slow burn anime. Yeah. Escaflone, Rossifon. Um, he guys is not really about giant robots. He guys is just a robot. Um, but X isn't about giant robots, but just a slower burn anime. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think like um, Gundam, you know, they, they're all like, I don't know, they, they're all slower paced. It's like you ha- you can't have like a lot of craziness going on because the giant robot battles, you almost have to like build to it. I think it's like that but it's suspension just, of disbelief thing, right? You got to kind of build like real politics for me to accept that they have robots. See, and I really don't need that. I mean, I can accept, you know, like. Well, I don't right, need but that. that's how you're supposed no, to build I understand. Stories, I understand. You know? I understand. Have you ever what? You've never seen Escaflone, have you? I don't think no, so. Escaflone. Escaflone did a movie that. And I got too much good. Gundam on my plate now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> He got J though. That's something we should probably watch at some point. No, no, no. But Gundam, Mobile, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. I highly recommend regular Mobile Suit regular Gundam. Regular Mobile Suit Gundam. OG. OG is OG, killing subtitle. it for me right now. Do it up. I'm loving it. If you have Hulu and you're out of things to watch and you want something about giant robots and politics, then watch Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. That's fine. I'm with that. It's just, I don't know that I, see, I'd never revisit it. And if I ever finish it as a 50, 50 probability, I'm like three episodes from the finish four, 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 the pro the probability that I ever finish mobile suit Gundam wing is like a 50, 50 probability. You know what I mean? Right. And that's not good. You should, this should be the point where you're like, I have to finish it. Whereas the point, like the probability of me rewatching all, all of My Hero Academia, again, is like 80. You should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Eh, I tried. I've I've delved into a little bit of you that. You huh? Dude, that's a whole other video. No, I we, can't. I'm about I to beat you. But I, just, I just, like, I'm so, my anime phase is past me. Mine's coming, like, like to I'm, fruition at this point. I will. I will gladly. I'm starting throw to be on. like, dude. What's some weird stuff I should watch? Oh, there's there's some plenty of weird stuff. That's out my point. There. I'm getting there's to that point where I'm like, give me some weird there. stuff. That's where I. That's where you lose me as the weird stuff because and that's partially like like Soul Taker for me is one of like the weirdest animes that mm-hmm. I own because uh, right. that like it's hard to watch those episodes. <laughs> like the it's no because you don't understand. You've never you've never seen Soul right. Taker, right? Where is it? It's back here. It's right here. Um, Soul Taker is just just the whole concept of Soul Taker is a weird. Maybe we'll watch that someday. It's right here though. Soul we Taker. should. It's I'm weird. All about it's anime. cut. It, it's like super cut, like super fast, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but then again, these days, are almost there robots nothing. in it? Yeah. Yes. Soul Taker, Soul Taker is that guy up on that shelf. Uh, you, the, the camera can't see it cuts oh, off. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, I have a statue I think, of I him. I think giant robot animes might be my new favorite. I don't know if he's giant robot. He turns into okay, whatever robot animes. He turns into like a robot type of dude. I'm seriously getting um, into robot animes, dude. Like yeah, bad. I mean, I think everyone goes through a giant robot anime fa- phase. Well, right? I'm in mine right now, and I'm you know? freaking bordering on 30. So. See, I wasn't really super big on Big O when that came out. I wasn't. I wasn't super big on that one. I heard a lot of people were kind of like, "What was Meh. the? What was the other one? Outlaw Star." Outlaw I Star heard that was one. a big anime. That was one I never got into either because I was more into Trigun. Give me Trigun at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, give me Bebop at that point. Mm-hmm. Like over Outlaw Star. Which Outlaw Star, I think there were ships that transformed into robots, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of what mistaken. happens in Gundam to a certain extent. So Too like, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I think they're that was, like plain whatever ships. Yeah, or sometimes they're just, sometimes they don't transform though into like planes and they're just suits. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, so. Not everyone transforms into a plane. Well, not transform necessarily. So like in the classic one, they have something called the Core Lander and it's like the 
the cockpit of the Gundam. And then when they, they basically put the top and the bottom on it and it transforms into like the midsection where he would be, the pilot would be. So it's its own little separate thing. So it doesn't technically transform. It like combines with two parts well, to Gundam make a Gundam. Wing, Gundam Wing, when in that episode we were they watching. They like flip into like. They the, were like turn transform into, yeah. into Gundam. But I think just those two. I think the other ones. Don't do that? I don't think so. Not that, not to my recollection. Not to my recollection. Yeah. Which is spotty at best. <laughs> Super spotty at best. Now I'm just trying to think of old animes I want to watch. Well, let's seen, not go, let's Blue, not go too crazy. Gender? No. Oh my god, it's like... I think Blue Gender I own... Oh, right there, I'm on VHS. Is that another giant robot enemy? No. Oh, well, um, then I'm uninterested. Yes. You lost. Yes, it. that's about giant robots. Yes. Because Earth gets taken over by these bug people. Or by, not bug people, by bugs, by giant bugs. And it's about like us trying to like literally stay alive. That one's pretty good, actually. Blue Gender is messed up. I should get that on Blu-ray. Or on DVD, because I don't have a VHS player, so we couldn't really watch it. I mean, I do have a VHS player, but it's not hooked up to anything, so we couldn't really watch it. So we, you're, we're back to where we started. We can't watch it. But I own it. It is decent. Okay. I'm trying to think of other, I'm trying to think of other like giant robot let's animes. Just, let's just shut the book on giant robot animes for now. We'll be no. back with a full freaking history of Let Gundam. Let us know. Do you want to know the history of Gundam video? Is it? And should we keep talking about giant robot animes? This is weird. Does it hold up? I like it though. It's fun because because nothing. I mean, do they hold up? Yes. Wing will say not exactly. Mobile Fighter G. I'm gonna say eh, not really. Wing no, but yes because the battles and the animation style in the you battles is really it, sweet. But to say it holds up would be, I think, an over. If you can find a super cut of. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Battles on YouTube. Just watch that. So that's going to be a no. If, if that's what you have to do, it doesn't hold up. Mobile, mobile, fighter, mobile fighter G you Gundam heard, Master Gunpla Battlers, not great. You heard, you heard the dialogue in that Mobile Suit Gundam Dude, Wing. Dude, the freaking dub on that is woofta. It is rough. Yeah. Some it's of those, like some your of, classic ouch anime. Like, older... older Animes with English dubs are my favorite because they're way worse. I feel like right in the, I feel like there's a sweet spot where dubs were like the worst mm -hmm. and like. That's only why do you here. think they got? Why do you think they got such a bad rap? And because their like, dubs were horrible. If you watch dub, you're not even a real anime fan. If it's not subtitled, you're not even really watching well, anime. They're horrible. And those people are douchebags. So Well, you just say that because you can't watch subtitles. It's not that I can't. See, there's this... I've cultivated this whole thought that I can't watch them. It's not that I can't. I just prefer not to. I could. I know how to read. Watch gu <laughs> Do you? Like, I do know do how you? to read. I, yes. I don't know if I've ever watched it. I know how to read. Okay. okay. Well, read something for me once. I read books to my son every night. I read... You ever heard of Pete the Cat? No. Oh, so Pete I can't cat. confirm or deny Killer. that you can read yet. Killer. You ever read How to Babysit a Grandpa? Okay, we're really off the rails. Like, let's, let's, let's so good, dude. Re go, read, go read How to Babysit a Grandpa. <laughs> then watch then Gundam. Then watch Gundam. Any iteration. Then comment about the History of Gundam video that Brian's going to be putting together, which will probably come along as well as the website oh, that's still ouch. up. I knew you were going to bring it up. <clears throat> I knew it. Um, so yeah, and then, you we'll know, we'll see you next time. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, I, I lost my, I lost my mic. Evit, like, share, subscribe. Bye. Deuces. You're like blasting.